Leaving your PS5 controller laying on the floor and hooked up to your console via a USB cable isn't exactly the most elegant way to charge it. Instead, for a small investment, you can pick up a PS5 controller charger to give yourself a better place to store and ensure your brand new DualSense is full of juice. In this video, we're going to be checking out the best PS5 controller charger in 2021. I made this list based on build quality, price, and more. Orsley PS5 Controller Charging Station The LED indicators on the front of the Orsley PS5 Controller Charging Station give you each controller's charge status at a glance, while the USB-C socket on the rear means you can power the charger with a variety of sources, aside from a standard AC adapter. Again, sadly, that's sold separately, so through the PS5 is likely the easiest choice out the box. Meanwhile, the USB-C adapters on the charger also mean it's capable of charging other controllers, including Xbox Series X and S, Nintendo Switch Pro Controller and Stadia. The only worry about this is that, the position of the controllers, while charging is a little unorthodox, so they could be loose and easily fall out accidentally. Nevertheless, Orsley is a well-known name in the world of gaming and electronics accessories, with a solid range of existing products such as cases, screen protectors, and more that have earned the trust with their PS5 controller charger. Nexi Go Dobe Upgraded PS5 Controller Charger This is the one that keeps popping up on Amazon and seems to have some pretty decent tradings. The Nexigo Dobe upgraded controller charger will charge two DualSense controllers at the same time. It has an LED indicator light to let you know that it's charging. The light will match the orange color on the controller, and when the charging is done the light simply turns off. So you know when your controllers are ready to use. As an added bonus, the company claims that it charges faster than others. The stand can also be plugged in using two different methods. One that takes up the two ports in front of the console and one that plugs into a standard AC plug. It might not be the one straight from Sony, but it is widely available, and you can have one delivered within a day. With Sony you never know when they'll come back in stock. It's also a bit cheaper than Sony's retail price, and a lot cheaper than what's being offered by scalpers. Oivo PS5 Dual Controller Charger. Another decent option is this one from Oivo, it charges two controllers at the same time and is mostly slim, so it should fit easily in the same spots that others do. Where this one differs a little bit is the light indicators. The icons appear blue. When one is charging still, the icon appears red. So you get a nice visual indication that the controller isn't ready and needs more time to charge. If you like the idea of having this sort of visual charging indication as opposed to simple lights, this one is pretty inexpensive. There are also two light strips along the sides that the company says is for atmosphere. So if you want to add a little more PS5 ambience, there you go. Matte PS5 DualSense Controller Charger One of the features that help Matte charging dock stand out is how the controllers are docked. It ditches the conventional way, where the controllers are docked in the upright position. Instead, they sit on either side of the dock, making it more compact than the rest of the competition. People love this charging dock for its cool-looking charging indicator. The LED is red while the controllers are charging and turns to blue once they are fully charged. Out of the 100-odd reviews on Amazon, it has managed to amass a decent number of positive results. It's right there in the middle with its pricing of $23.99. PlayStation DualSense Charging Station. The best pick, the official DualSense Charging Station, that comes from Sony. Because, well it's not just one of the best DualSense Charging Stations, it's probably the best, and it's also the most minimal. It's slim, matches the color scheme of the console, and of course it charges two controllers at once. There's also only one visible logo on it. While logos aren't really a bad thing, they can add unnecessary flash or additional things to draw attention and no one wants that. Sony's PlayStation logo is situated neatly on the top of the charging station, where the controllers sit. So it's never user-facing which means it will only ever be visible when you're standing over it either picking up or putting down one of your controllers. Because it's slim, it's also much more likely to fit better in most people's setups. 
seeing as it won't take up as much space compared to other options.